The following is a presentation of TFNN. Now, the author of Mastering Probability, Steve Rhodes. TFNN, welcome to the September 18th, terrific Thursday edition of today's opening bell on the Trader's Edge. I'm your host, Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, the daily newsletter service that is the intelligence for creating financial freedom. And folks, it's always absolutely fantastic to be with you here each and every morning. I hope everyone out there had a wonderful Wednesday. And let's make sure that you and I, that we do all that we can do to have one heck of a terrific Thursday. Now, the best way we can start off our day is to always remember that for the benefit of the flowers, we must water the thorns, too. Hmm, something to think about. Now, for the next two hours, we'll check out today's flowers and thorns, and we'll utilize tools, extraordinary tools, tools such as that A to B equals CD pattern, our lightning bolt pattern. We'll take a look at our Fibonacci retracements, expansions, the combination of those two. Those are what create those Gartley and butterfly patterns. We'll look at Japanese candlesticks. We'll count the peaks and troughs. We'll look at our TAS market profiles. We'll use the Rhodes momentum trading signals. We'll use it all in order to capture what the market is doing. Now, the beautiful thing is that this is an interactive show. That means we love to hear from you. We love our tigers and tigresses out there. We want to hear your ideas. We want to answer your questions. And the easiest way for us to do that is for you to, is for you to give us a call. 877-927-6648. That's our number. Or internationally, we'd love to hear from you from far away land. 727-445-1044. That's the number. And then you and I, we can go hunting for bulls and bears. It is terrific Thursday. This is Tiger Financials Network. I'm Steve Rhodes, and welcome to the show. Right now, we got Dow Futures. They're trading up about 50 points, trading out at 17,118. NASDAQ Futures up 15. S&P Futures up 7. They're trading at 2,000.75. Goldilocks down 15 bucks right now. Silver off 32 pennies. Light Sweet Crude up 16 since natural gas somewhat flat out here as we speak right now moving and grooving to the uh, i don't have anything well i guess i got uh, moving and grooving to the upside is this uh yeah you got uh, tokai pharmaceuticals out there m core corp that is also moving apple Trading up a bit this morning. It closed at 108.58. She's trading out at 102.37. To the downside here, we got Marchex Inc. Closed at 7.50. An absolute haircut going on out there on sale for $4.57 right now. I suggest that's not the sale that you want to buy. EPR Properties, that's a trade out at 52.50. It closed at 54.63. A quick peek across the globe. We're going to see the DAX is off to an early Oktoberfest. They're trading up 1%. 102.93. It's trading out at 97.64. The FTSE on the move as well. That's up a half a percent. It's trading out at 68.08. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag out there. We had the Nikkei up a little over 1%, up 178 points. The uh, Hang Seng off 207, down nearly nine tenths of a percent. The Shanghai up three quarters of a percent, up eight. Again, our call number 877. 9276648 gives a call would love to hear from you hey before we go on to the market here you know we got to take care of you got to make sure that you you know there's if, if there's I, you've got to take some massive action today folks if if i'm speaking to you which i am and you haven't done the following then you got to you got to do me a favor just do me one i don't ask you to do uh, many favors i provide you with 2 hours of unconditional love give you all of my best thoughts about what's going on in the marketplace do yourself a favor. Go over to the homepage of TFNN.com. Sign up for TFNN's virtual trading competition, which is going to run through Sunday. Start begin Sunday, the uh, 28th of September. Not, that's not this Sunday. That's next Sunday through Friday, October 3rd. And the cutoff for this, it happens to be a week from today, noon, a week from today on Thursday, September 25th. There's no cost to sign up. It takes uh, virtually, uh, I don't know, a minute or so out there. You'll be uh, entered. You'll be able to win up to 70 prizes, uh, all kinds of cash prizes. There's bonuses such as being able to get access to the Tiger's Den for free. A workshop that Tom is going to host on uh, Thursday evening, September 25th out there. So even if you, uh, you know, you're not really an interested, go learn a new tool. 
learn about the Nadex platform out there, but take advantage of those 70 prizes. Everybody likes to be a winner. I know you're a winner out there. And uh, the, the prizes that we give away, how about some of the uh, books? How about some of Tom's autograph books out there? So that is a real bonus. Do me a favor. Go do that. I want, I, I want you. I'm only speaking to you out there. Yes, that's right. You're the individual. Do me that favor. Go sign up for it. Tell them Stevie sent you. Now, let's go check out these uh, markets out here. Where do we want to begin? Yeah, let's go over back over to the international market. Let's go see what's going on over there because we've got some patterns that we certainly want to be able to uh, focus on and pay attention to. Let's go take a look at the DAX, see what the DAX is doing. Hey, how about that? The DAX out here trying to take out its most recent highs. Let me get rid of those retracement rulers out there. What do we know about the DAX? Hey, the DAX was so strong and never even made a dead cat bounce or point three eight two retracement off of its most recent high. That high out here was September 8th. That's the high that it's trying to overtake right now, 97. 7370. Hey, if it takes that out, I don't have the volume on this, unfortunately, but boy, if it takes that out, that's one heck of a large A to B equals C to the upside. But most likely what we would see is a test of this little shooting star, that June 20th trading session out at 10,050.98. That is what's going on in the DAX in Germany. Uh, this actually formed a little hammer candle back here on September the 16th, just like our Dow did as well. And that is a, a bullish sign out there. If we go take a look at the um, FTSE where is it? Come on, show up. There we go. Let's go take a look at the FTSE 100. Up 29 points right now. It did make the uh, dead cat bounce. It did also form a hander, hammer candle that has held as support. And that's low from September 16th out here. Looks like the uh, FTSE wants to go at least make a, you know, wants to go make a run for that 68, 67-ish area. We see a close above that. More specifically at this stage, because we got a swing point out there, you got to get a close above that September 4th high at 69.04.86. Folks, you get a close above that. That will uh, create some fuel for the uh, markets because the FTSE has been consolidating for a long, long time out there. I got a quick peek in here. Let me see what kind of damage, if anything, was done to the Hang Seng last night off 207 points out here. Yeah, you know, the Hang Seng just hasn't uh, caught fire like some of the other markets has at this stage. The Hang Seng uh, was flirting with the uh, September 16th swing point low. If it takes that out, that will be an A to B equals CD to the downside out here. Okay, now let's go check out our markets. Let's go see what we've got going on. Let's begin by taking a look at our futures markets. Let's go take a look at all four of them. Uh, let's take a look. I'll uh, begin by taking a look at the uh, NASDAQ. Let's look at the uh, December contract out here. We had drawn in there a little bit of a consolidation pattern. And in the essence, it's still out there. The uh, key here for the NASDAQ is going to be able to get over the September 3rd and the uh, September 9th highs out there. September 3rd, that high is 4106. The September 9th high, that's out at uh, 4102. You get above that. And, uh, well, right now you're above its market profile high out there. And that is a, you know, the day's not over. So we'll see how the uh, day trades out here. We know that the bears are camped out. We'll see if the bulls can overrun them. And they'd overrun them if you see it close above 4106 out there without a doubt. If we go take a look at the uh, ES Mini. Let's look at the S&P futures. Let's go ahead. and Now, that's been in a consolidation. That consolidation ranging from about the uh, 1970 level to the uh, 19, uh, we'll call it the 2000. So you got about a 30-point move. Then he break out above, let's call it the September 4th high of 2,001.75. Well, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at about a 30-point move out there. So 2,030 would be its uh, signal out there. That's what's going on inside of the S&P futures. Let's go take a look at the uh, Dow futures. What are the Dow futures? Strong light bull uh, for the third session in a row above their market profile high out there. That's uh, bullish above the highs from September 4th. Hmm something to think about uh you know yesterday's candle just simply a little spinning top uh, maybe at best you could call that a high wave candle with the body of the candle you know and the high wave candle says hey maybe it's lost it's uh lost its direction out there but it doesn't look like it's lost its direction to me so the dow at this stage it wants higher price let's go check in on the russell 2000 often thought of as the weak link out here in the market but stevie's gonna show you something that's gonna make you say hmm something to think about because I was thinking about it.
Now, if we do take a look at the Russell 2000, it's struggling to get above its old support line. That became resistance, and that's out at 1155.36. That's your number for the day. The Russell 2000 gets above 1155.36. That says that Spanky and our gang, it'll be joining the uh, gang out here, and it'll be heading to higher price as well. So what is it that Stevie has up his sleeve out here? Well, I was just toying around with, uh, I was asking myself the uh, question out here, because I love to see, I love to take a look at divergence pat divergent patterns that have meaning now i hope you're watching us on tiger tv if you're not i'm going to describe to you what it is that we're looking at don't forget you can get the archive of this show on channel nine and, of course, you can watch it streaming live right after you've signed up for TFNN's virtual trading competition. What you can do is you can move over to the right-hand side of the chart or the page. You can uh, go click on that button. You'll see the show streaming live. And what you're looking at at the top portion of my screen, that happens to be the Russell 1000. Now, the Russell 1000, that's the large cap segment of the entire equity universe out there. In fact, the Russell 1000 represents 92% of the U.S. market. So this is the large cap. Now what we're going to do is we're going to compare that to the Russell 2000, which you know is a weak link out here. But the question is, when divergent patterns occur, does the Russell 1000 does the Russell 1000 provide us with information about what the Russell 2000 may be doing? Hmm, something to think about. Well, let's take a look at some past patterns. Forget about where we're at right now. Let's go take a look at the most recent past pattern out here. And if we, if we do that, we're going to take a look at the uh, April 11th time frame out here. The top portion of my screen again. It's the Russell 1000. And we take a look at that uh, swing point. We can see that uh, when the Russell 2000 was making a lower low, a little hammer candle back there on May the 15th, what was the Russell 1000 doing? Hmm. It was making a higher low out there. And what happened to the markets? Took off to the moon, much like the Euro-Japanese yen. When we get back, let's continue looking at this stock chart. And let's go see if there's some divergences here that actually have some meaning. And then we'll jump forward. We'll take a look at what's going on today. It may be the Russell 1000 today that really paints the message as to what's going to happen in its little brother, the Russell 2K. We'll be right back, folks. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Think or Swim, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Steve, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. Uh, before we went to break, we were taking a look at the Russell 1000 compared to the Russell 2000 out here. Now, now uh, you know, the Russell 2000, a lot of people trade the TZA and the TNA, and so if you do trade those, you want to pay attention to this uh, correlation chart out here. Now, I can tell you that the overall market does better when the Russell 2000 is the lead dog out there. And you may ask the question why, or I may ask you to ask the question why, and so, therefore, let me answer that. And the reason is Russell 2000 is small caps. When it's doing well, it's really just telling us a story of liquidity. And the market is really all about story. Life is just really all about story. And the story there is plenty of liquidity to water both the flowers and the thorns out there. That's not what we have here at the stage. But what we do have that it may be occurring today and why we want to pay attention, and it's why, Steve, you went ahead and brought it up for you today, is because we want to see is Russell 1000 ready to break out above its highs out here. Because we know that the Russell 2000 has said, no way, Jose, it hasn't done that yet. But who is the leader in this little tango, in this little dance step up here? Is it the Russell 1000 or is it the Russell 2000? Well, folks, it's the Russell 1000. If we go back and we take a look at what we can see about the Russell 1000, is yesterday, well, two days ago, nice, big, old, bearish engulfing candle out here. And it said, no, 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 I'm tired of going down. Now, we didn't get a reversal candle inside the Russell uh, uh, 2000 two days ago. We didn't get it yesterday, but we did get it in the 1000 out here. Now, if we go ahead and we pull this back. Now, do the divergences always work? Look, there is no guaranteed system where everything always works. We did see here where the Russell 1000, between the time period of March the 7th, all the way up into the highs on April the 4th. It was moving slightly higher to horizontal, and the Russell 2000 was not. It was saying, I'm sorry. But, well, you know, inside the Russell 1000, there wasn't really too much damage. Then we saw really that diverging pattern as that hammer candle was being formed on May the 15th out there. That was pretty interesting. And now, if we take a look at a divergent pattern out here inside the 1000 versus the 2000, go back to December 23rd, 2013, all the way into the time period here when the uh, Russell made a high on January 22nd, 2014. I say we saw a divergence, and what was Big Brother telling us? Was telling us, hey, 
market was getting ready to move down. You got that little reversal signal right here on January 23rd inside the 2000. As we pull this back even further out here, you can see a divergent pattern taking place between September of 2013 and the uh, time period here of October 2013. That led to a bit of a retracement. Nothing too major out there, but a bit of a retracement. As Stevie pulls this back, what do we have taking place? You had the Russell 2000 back in July of 2012. In essence, moving sideways into August 2nd of 2012. And what was the 1000 doing? It was making a higher low out there. As I say, hmm, something to think about. So I would say we'll go ahead and we'll pay attention to this chart here today. Take a look all the way back here in 2010, in July of 2010, all the way up to the high or the uh, August 31st, 2010. You saw a higher low inside the Russell 1000. You saw a basically a, uh, a double bottom inside of the uh, 2000 out there. Nice big bullish engulfing candle, by the way, that formed on August the uh, 25th out there. That went ahead and marked a uh, low. So this, folks, is something to pay attention attention to. Yes, the Russell 2000 is a weak link out here, but I think it's a big brother. The one that represents 92% of the uh, market out there is going to uh, give us a, a story today, and that may be a story that lasts for a while out here, and that is that chart. Now, of course, you know that Stevie loves to go take a look at that Euro Japanese yen at this thing here. Now, let's see. Mercury is what? Mercury is about 57 million miles or so from Earth earth out here and if we take a look at uh, the euro japanese yen i would have to say that it passed mercury back on september the 12th when it broke out of that little descending price channel out here so it's uh, not on its way so you got mercury then what uh, venus is venus is closer to earth than mercury so where is it headed to uh, next Mer mars is closer than mercury right so must be headed to where did jupiter is it Jupiter where it's headed to? Must be headed to Jupiter. And Jupiter must be that point to 618 level out there. 140.71. But folks, uh, the Euro Japanese yen, it's hitting that level out here uh, with uh, what looks like a wide rangey bar. This is a daily chart that we are looking at. And that says the Euro Japanese yen shoot. It has broken its uh, downtrend. That is for sure. It's headed to 140.71, maybe 142.06. You want to talk about water that flowers the plants or Water that water that water. Oh, what am I trying to say out here? You want to talk about watering the plants and the thorns? Well, that's what the Euro Japanese yen is doing, and it's spreading out all of that liquidity across the marketplace out here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now's the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. 
Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're off to the races. We got the Dow up 44 points. Trading out at 17,202. S&P up six, trading at 2,007. NASDAQ composite up 15 points. She's trading at 4577. The Russell 2000 up three and a half at 1157. DAX up 113. FTSE up 27. Goldilocks back $14 right now, trading at 1221. Silver off 29 pennies. Platinum down 16 bucks. Let's go check in on the mining, uh, the commodities out here. Let's go check in on uh, gold. Uh, what is gold doing? We know that gold has broken through that that uh, swing point from uh, june the third out there that sets up a larger a to b equal cd to the downside that a to b equal c to the downside it looks like that our eight points going to be out here that little key reversal session that was on march 17th all the way down to that little swing point little doji on june the third uh, up to the high that uh, began the formation of that evening star pattern. You talk about planets and stars, and or at least Stevie will. That says 1198. Next on its uh, stop for Goldilocks, and that's the one to one A to B equals C D to the downside 1157. Your one to 1.272. That takes us back into the uh, time frame of December 31st out there. That low being the 1185 area. The top of that is at uh, 1216. So, excuse me, it's going to be that 1198, 1216 type area where we start to get. Well, we're already at the 1216, so we want to watch that, right? We've uh, the bottom, the top is 1216.50, and the low so far today. 12, 16, 30. You got to love that. 20 pennies. So it has hit that. Now, if it hits that, now that's got some pretty big volume back there. Let me switch over to the continuous contract, or I guess I could go all the way back to the uh, December contract in 2003, right? That would be another way to do that. Let me see if I can do that, see if that was the active or if it switched already over to March. Let me see if it'll pull up this data. I could be stretching the limits here of V uh, signal, so maybe that is not such a, a good thing to do. Let me uh, let me do this. Let me get let me get to the uh, let me uh, da, 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 G C. Give me a moment here, folks. Sorry about that. 
I probably have the uh, continuous contract someplace. Else. Okay, so let's go take a look at the uh, volume uh, back there. Okay, I believe the volume on that trading session, uh, shoot, 79, is that 79,000 contracts? Uh, we're going to use 123,000 contracts. That's really, uh, sometimes it's off by a day. 79 or 123 is the uh, magic number. God, I thought it was like about 200,000 contracts, if I was not mistaken. Nonetheless, uh, we're going to use that range 123 to 79. Where are we at today? That's the key. Well, you're 132. So 132, you're coming down with some pretty decent volume. You really need to see a reversal signal here uh, today. That's a rejection of that high of... Uh, Shoot, now I show this high here of 1214 because of the difference in the contracts. But 1214, and so far in the continuous, we've hit 12, 16, 30. Uh, during one of the breaks, I'll try to go back and see if I can, uh, or maybe in between shows, try to actually go pull up the uh, contract with inside the e-signal platform uh, back then just to get the accurate to gauge. Nonetheless, what do we know? Here's what we know for sure. You've broken a swing point with volume that says that we've got lower price until we see otherwise out there. Gold is in that oversold condition. That's what's going on inside of uh, Goldilocks. So we go take a look at uh, silver out here. You got silver back 28 cents right now. Silver really, um, you know, silver is moving into uh, unknown territory. Let me put the silver continuous contract up on my screen as well. Let's see what we've got going on here. All right, so what is silver going to do? Where is silver headed to? Um, I probably really got to go back pretty far for that. Well, you take silver, you come. No, you actually, you don't have to. We can just simply go back to June of 2013. And uh, June of 2013 says it's very likely. Let's see, that low out there is, uh, I've got it at 1818. And so far, the interest session low has been 1827. So it's close, but no cigar here just yet. Uh, let me put this on a, a monthly chart. Let me go back even uh, further out here. Now, what I'm really, really eager to see out here is this week's CFTC data. Now, that's going to be through Tuesdays. That's going to be through Tuesday's transactions out here. But if we just simply go take a look at retracement levels now off of the uh, low, the low that I'm using that is in October of 2008, all the way to the side that was uh, put in out here, and that was on April of 2011. 17.26 happens to be your long term 0.786 retracement level. So you'd have to say that uh, that is likely where silver is uh, headed to uh, next, right around $17.26. We'll see if, in fact, it can uh, find some legs down there, some support there. There was a swing point from February 1st, 2010. The range of that is 1465 to 1695. So that's $1695, $17.26 looks to me to be the uh, target area for silver. Uh, let's take a look at platinum. Platinum off by uh, 17 bucks right now. Uh, platinum right now going after a, a swing point. Uh, that's a monthly chart. Yeah, well, let's go take a look what it's doing on a, a monthly basis. Going over, uh, going to the uh, swing point from December 2013. That low out there is 1324. Let's put this on a, a daily time frame if we can. Uh, daily. Oh, that's. I was just looking at the, uh, looking at the uh, current contract. So you've got the one to two A to B equal C D to the downside that it's done. But let me put the uh, continuous out here. P L, P L equals one. There we go. Now I want to go back and put the uh, monthly out here. So if we're taking a look, so here's a continuous contract. It's trading below swing points. It's trading into. Is it trading into? Yeah, it's trading into a, a swing low from back on uh, December 19, 2013, the top of which is 1339. It's tested that. It has rejected it for the moment. A close inside there says in the volume that I show there, 15,000 contracts. Uh, today it has done 11,000 contracts. So maybe coming in with a little bit uh, too much heat. Looks like it threw him the heater and just a little outside was the uh, pitch if it breaks through that area then you're taking a look at uh, price getting down to the june 28th level that's around the 1295 area and that is on uh, platinum let's go take a look at some things that are moving and grooving in the uh, marketplace out here you've got air products chemicals apd is the ticker symbol that's up three percent this morning up four dollars let's go see that looks like that's trying to take out a, a swing point out here looks like it's got the volume perhaps behind its uh, move out here nice sign of strength inside air 
Products and Chemicals, APD is a ticker symbol. And that's the uh, June 18th breakout session. Wide price spread, accelerated volume, 9 million shares on that day. If that wasn't enough, it had another 4.5 million shares wide price spread. And that was on July 23rd out there. Looks like we got another day of that. Now, the swing point that it's dealing with was from July 30th. Only 981,000 uh, shares on that trading session. Already done, 659. It's tested the highs. It's rejected it. But it ought to go ahead and catapult itself and uh, take it off into uh, new territory, new all-time high inside of air products, chemicals out there. APD is the ticker symbol. Wind Resorts bouncing back this morning, up 2%, up $3.87 out here. So Wind Resorts trying to say no moss, no more to the downside. However, what Wind Resorts has got to do, it's got to break the open uh, window that we've got out here. That's going to be the resistance area, which is going to be anywhere between 189.96 and 191.89. That had volume at that window, 4.7 million shares. Yesterday's move up was with 2.2 million shares thus far today. 40, uh, sorry, 350,000 shares have traded. That is going against 4.7 million. We'll see if when can go ahead and put in a, a bottom. Unfortunately, no reversal signal here. It did make a, a nice little price relative strength diversion pattern, but no, it did not. Uh, go ahead and uh, give us any kind of reversal signal out there. We got MSCI. That's up a nice five and a half percent, up two dollars and sixty nine cents. Looks like they're going to go ahead and return a billion dollars to their shareholders out here. And this thing has certainly spiked up here. Uh, that is talk about wide price spread. Is that real? That has to be real out here. Can't be anything but real. Forty six ninety one to fifty one ninety eight as we speak here today. Let's pull this back just a, a bit farther out here. So this is taking out a, a swing point. That swing point out here was from the trading session of July third. That high was forty seven forty two. That has been taken out most certainly. Uh, to the upside, we've also got uh, Tesla. We've got Trip Advisor up two percent this morning. Let's go take a trip with Trip Advisor. T R I P is a ticker symbol. Looks like this has been in a bit of a descending price channel out here. Let's Let's go see if it's getting ready to uh, break that. What's that descending price channel look like? Well, we're going to start with that trading session up here, the body, the candle from June 30th. That's going to be our touch point. Then we're going to go ahead and just to click it right there. That looks like a pretty decent uh, level for that price channel, the bottom of which is probably somewhere in this uh, range right about there. We'll click on that. We'll go ahead and move it back and see how that works. Yeah, it looks like that works okay, Johnny. And so this has got a bit of a ways to go. In order to uh, really break out trip advice to the upside, it's going to have to break through that level. Now, this had a little downdraft session out here on September the 15th, 1.8 million shares to the downside. Today, 141,000 shares to the upside out here. What else we got? Uh, TripAdvisor has this uh, little bit of a sell-off. So there is some definite resistance inside of TripAdvisor. If we put the horizontal line across our screen out here, if it can clear 102.86, it probably breaks that little descending price channel that she is traveling within. Now, how about to the downside out here? We've got ticker symbol CLR, Continental Resources. Let me see what's uh, behind this move out here. Nothing that I see on the uh, news channel out here, but gapping down, breaking a swing point this morning. And let's go check out its volume. So it's got really a swing point from September the 15th. That had 1.6 million shares. You gapped down this morning. You've got volume behind the move, 1 million shares. Let's go check out the other swing that it's dealing with. That's from August 7th. That's got 2.3 million. So you're moving into a swing point with volume from August the 7th. You broke a swing point with volume. Where is this headed to? Well, look what shows up on our radar screen out here. That happens to be the trading session for May 8th. That has a high volume low that has been untested out here. Looks like 6401 is a minimum price target. And that is for continental resources. Let's go take a look at that potential A to B equals CD. The downside, you're going to use the trading session from uh, September the 4th as your A point. Your B point is going to be September 15th, your C point, that two-day retracement into the high on September 17th. That gives you one-to-one -one at 68.06, one-to-one point two seven two at $65.70, and voila, that takes you into that high-volume session. So you'd have to say 6401 is likely the price target for Continental Resources. CLR is the uh, ticker symbol. We've also got Marchex Inc., MCA HX is the ticker symbol. That's off a whopping 41% out here. What the heck do they have going on? 
looks like they've revided, revised guidance. Was that guidance? Hey, folks, uh, we just wanted to let you know we're uh, going out of business. Is that uh, what it is? Let me see if there's any other news here. Uh, as a result of as a result of revised commitments from Allstate in the fourth quarter. Okay, so it looks like they're losing one of their big customers. March X is lowering its 2014 call-driven revenue target out here. And uh, uh, so uh, they're, they're getting the actual kibosh. Let's take this back, see if everybody's been taken to the cleaners on this one here. Uh, nope, not everybody. Uh, but uh, this thing is, let's put this on a longer-term time frame out here. MCHX, by the way, that's the uh, ticker symbol that we're looking at. We'll put this on a good old monthly chart, and then we'll go ahead and spread the... Uh, yeah, so then not, that's actually not too many people inside of this equity that are in the uh, money out here. And I hope that uh, is none of the listeners. Little hammer candle looks like tried to form out here the month of August first, two thousand and twelve. Looks like that's where she's headed to somewhere between two dollars and ninety nine cents up to three dollars and fifty one. But this thing is uh, down with a vengeance out here, Marchex. So we've also got Pier One Imports P I R is the ticker symbol. Yikes! This has got some problems as well. Down sixteen percent this morning a little downgrade what else do we have out here what are the reason uh, pier one after their second quarter earnings okay second quarter net income nine million versus 17 million boy they took that to the uh, cleaners out here net sales for oh how about this they got they got a problem in uh, their uh, books and records out here or maybe just a few too many parties that pier one was throwing out there 418 million in net sales for their second quarter versus 395 they were able to grow the top line but by were able to demolish the bottom line and now they are getting demolished wide price spread accelerated volume and this isn't the first going away party that they've thrown out here this looks like to be party number three hey i see four gaps to the downside this one could be the largest one out here, but I say don't don't be playing this. Uh, five gaps to the downside. Son of a gun out here. Take a look at Pier 1 Imports. Boy, was this not uh, Paul Revere riding through Pier 1 Imports and saying, uh, you know, the sellers are coming, the sellers are coming. That first time we saw that, that was on, and that was not Peter Sellers. That was on September the 19th, 14 million shares to the downside out here. And then you got uh, 5 million shares on January 9th to the uh, downside out here. Then, of course, that was greeted by 9 million shares on February 28th as a gap down to the downside. And then, of course, not to be outdone by the 11.5 million shares of the downside on June 19th. And then, of course, today, well, today you've got real selling. Finally, everybody's getting the message here in Pier 1 Imports already. 5.4 million shares. We've been trading for what? 19 minutes out here? Pier 1 Imports. Oh, man. Uh, they are in some trouble out here. This is Steve Rhodes. This is TFNN. We'll be right back, folks. take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, right now, the Dow is up about 62 points, 61 points, straight on at 17,000. 218, S&P is up uh, six, uh, seven and a half, uh, six and a half, uh, trading out at 2008, composite of 21. Russell up four points out here. Uh, we were taking a look at Pier 1 imports. Let me go back and take a look at Pier 1 imports so I can give you at least a bit of a uh, target. PIR is the ticker symbol out here. As we take a look at its uh, monthly chart, it uh, becomes uh, evidently clear to me that this is probably headed to about $8.78 out there. That's where you got your uh, big volume bar from June of 2010. It's trading at twelve eighty five. Hey, don't go short in that stock, but... It ought to find some uh, decent support right around that eight dollar. Maybe we'll find some decent support around that eight dollar and seventy eight uh, cent uh, range out there, and that is what's going on with that. So, okay, let's go take a look at some uh, different uh, time frame charts out here inside of the uh, Nasdaq. Right, let's take a look at the December contract for the uh, Nasdaq. I, I, by the way, I was trying to get the. Uh, the older contracts on my screen here for gold, and I couldn't do that. So I got another system that uh, in between shows. I'll try to pull that to uh, gather uh, for us out there. Uh, if we do take a look at the uh, NASDAQ out here, this is the uh, daily chart. What the uh, NASDAQ uh, needs to do, needs to get back up over this. Uh, it's got the bears are hanging out here. We took a look at this earlier, and again, the bearish engulfing key reversal session from September the 3rd, as well as September the 9th. That was a little bear sash candle. That's where its resistance line is. That price, by the way, is up at the uh, 41.13.75 range. You get up above that, and that 
becomes extremely uh, bullish. 4,099 looks to be the uh, resistance level of its uh, market profile, but that's just one that formed here yesterday. You really should go back to the one that was in place here for quite some time between August 28th and September 16th out there. And any close above the 4,079 level, you'd have to say that is uh, bullish. We're getting right now uh, how my screen here has turned to blue. You're now getting a buy signal, and that buy signal comes today with the close above 4,068.50 using the roads momentum indicator strategy out there. That's on the daily chart. Let's go check out the five-hour energy chart that brought to us by Saratoga Bob inside our Tiger's Den. And folks, do us do yourself a favor. Get on over to the homepage of TFN.com. Sign up for the virtual trading competition. That's going to run between September 28th, Sunday, September 28th, through Friday, October 3rd. Cut off a week from today at 12 noon. No cost to you. The cost is really missing out on 70 total prizes, daily random winners, the whole nine yards out there. Plus, you get the bonus of being able to be inside the Tiger's Den, seeing these charts in HD, and being a part of a uh, peer group that is second to none out there. And then, of course, you get access into Tom o Brian's Thursday evening workshop on September 25th. Uh, so a lot of reasons. If, if there was ever a reason to sign up for a, a contest, well, we just got it. Now, if we take a look at that five-hour energy chart, we're now in uh, Basil Chapman's uh, third wave of four to seven waves to the upside out here. Uh, so this looks uh, bullish. Looks like we've got higher prices coming at least over the next uh, five plus hours out here. Well, this actual chart, my five hour chart out here, let's go see what the time frame is for this cutoff. So this one here is at uh, 1400 hours. So that's 2 p.m. So uh, you're looking at uh, tomorrow, between today, tomorrow, seeing higher prices out here. And that's really what one should expect out here. We'll see if the NASDAQ is able to take out its highs. That's what's going on in the five hour energy chart out here. Let's take a look at that two hour chart. We got to come up with a name for that one. Two hour chart oh hey it's in that uh, fourth wave out there but this uh, time frame here this ends in about uh, two minutes or less folks thanks so much for being here it is terrific thursday if you're off to start your day have a great thursday as always thanks so much for joining us uh, stay tuned though the money master show is up next have a great day look forward to seeing you soon take care now White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today.